Uh, we should be doing the Naked City. Part 2 of the Naked City. I completely forgot that this... Standby. My phone times out, and I completely forgot that it does it. So I'm going to keep that on 10 minutes. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, 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 I want to go this way. Mister, a man like you always That's a guy from the papers. Solve that big case. Game well. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? Messages for me, please. Yes, Detective. The coroner's been asking to speak to you. I can connect the call if you like. Please, thank you. Al? Cole, can you get over here? I just finished the autopsy. Sure thing, Mal. We'll be right over. Mmm. All right, buddy. You're driving, not me. Can you drive to this one? We gotta go Do to the... Do we know the, where uh, we're going? Yes, we're going to the mall. The, well... Oh, nice the move, not mall. telling old Sweet Lips in there about her friend taking the big jump till we were half out the door. Very slick. I figured Stupid, we'd get more the, out of her that way. The more. You're learning, Phelps. Mall morgue, we'll whatever. Stupid thing it yet. is. I don't know. We're just going to the morgue. That's all I know. Mortuary. 3.02 p.m. It looks earlier than that, but okay. Dude, my fingers hurt, man. Holy crap. Okay. Hello, my dear. We're going to the morgue. Thank you. Thank you. Detectives Phelps and Earl here to see the coroner. Yes, detective. He's waiting for you in the examination room. Uh, the mark is over here. I saw his picture in the paper. He worked that case. Cole, Roy, cut up like I have some information for you. Go ahead. You're the only person enjoying this, Mal. Get on with it. The bruising confirms two sets of hands, so we have two killers. Death was caused by heart failure due to an overdose of morphine. Have you dragged us down here to gloat? We already heard your theory. We agree that she was murdered. Yes, of course. I have something else to show you. All right, Mal, what gives? The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two-by-four. So what? Good riddance. I found two serrets in his jacket pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. We're listening, Mal. No sign of morphine use and no metabolized morphine in his blood. Scratch marks on his face. Which mm. could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, Mal. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. So you're saying Laughing Boy here could be one of our killers? That's a hell of a long shot. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. I found something else. Sorry, I don't play. I don't know if it's significant. His wallet was empty. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. Okay. Carruthers. Yeah, he's here. I'll send him over. Ooh. They have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you next door. Let me know how you get on. Sure, Mal. And thanks for the lead. Sure, Mal. Thanks for the lead. Mal is going to take the syringe and throw it in whatchamacallit. Whatever kind of look you were going for, you missed. Do you think the vice boys get any on the side? Is this Mr. Arnett? Mr. Arnett? Yeah, it is. I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. Thanks for coming in. Call me Henry. <laughs> okay, so Henry. Like terrible news about Julia. Maybe. 
How well did you know Julia Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing business, and Julia occasionally modeled for me. He's asking whether you banged her in a chuck-on-the-shoulder fraternity kind of way. I'm engaged to be married. It wouldn't be polite. Answer the question. This will remain private. Heather won't have to know. <sighs> yes. We had relations. I'm a red. Miss Randall's landlady said she was seeing an older man. There's a uh, big Urban. MCI in the county right now, and um, I'm, our fire company might get toned out to this, so we'll see. Henry, I don't like when people lie to me. She was seeing a man named Henderson. You know who I'm talking about. Easy on, detective. I may have heard of Henderson, but I don't know his full name. I think he's from New York or someplace back east. Uh, housekeeper statement? That's funny. Julia told her cleaning lady that he lived in San Francisco. Okay, you got me. I don't know where he's from. Julia wanted money. She always wanted money. She thought she could get something from this guy. She was wearing a distinctive engagement ring. You think she might have convinced him to buy it for her? Maybe he did, yeah. Maybe he and Julia were getting serious. <laughs> Ever heard of a Jimmy LeBlanc? No. Should I have? Is, is he an entertainer or something? A LeBlanc? So you wouldn't have any reason I thought to his name was LeBlanc, LeBlanc would be involved in Julie Randall's murder? If this guy is a criminal, he, he might have been involved. But like I said, I've never heard of this LeBlanc character. LeBlanc. Heather told us that you were in fashion. That's right. I gave his wife a cat. I said all some kind of traveling salesman? Once I got out of the Corps, I used my... You were in the Marines? Sure. I'm proud of it. The Fighting Sixth. You were in the Sixth Marines? Yes. I was a captain. Which company? Uh, various companies. We had a lot of cash. Various companies. Agents. Okinawa. A couple of other places. That will be all for now, Henry. You've been very helpful. Hmm... I don't know, man. That son of a bitch was never in the Marines. Why'd you let him off the hook? Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Arnett is an amateur. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on to Bukowski? Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass it on. Thanks. Can you also have R and I run the records on a Jimmy LeBlanc and find out who was his last arresting <clears> officer? <throat> have him get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. Oh, why am I always driving? Of course. She's in that car at the lights. He was squirming like a worm in there. Don't you love it when they pull the war hero excuse? Actually, maybe you don't. I'd have expected a cad like Arnett to be a better liar. Yeah, me too. Taking us, Henry.
idiot never stepped foot in Okinawa. Okay, my apologies. I'm just listening into this uh, MCI. It sounds like an MCI right now. <clears throat> so I kind of wanted to listen and see what's going on. He needs money and fast. Get in there and find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Hoof it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. I like how he just looks back and he's like, eh? Gives middle finger. I would too. Move in. At risk losing the trail. How? I was like, okay, whatever. I shouldn't have gone incognito there. How does he pawn something that fast, though? Like, seriously. How does one do that? He needs money and fast. Get in there and find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Hoof it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Move in. At risk losing the trail. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Yeah, so he crosses the street. So I should be going. I should be going incognito right here. But then I never do. Oops. That price is outrageous. Move in. At risk losing the trail. 
He says to move in, I'm gonna yes, move, move in. Seems like a decent guy. What are you doing? Damn. Uh, what do I gotta do this whole thing all over again? I don't get it. He needs money and fast. So I keep dropping my phone, Jesus. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Too much slack. I get closer. Hoof it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Hi, I'm totally not going incognito on some dude right now. So, how come I can't go incognito here? Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Yeah, but if I get closer... He's gonna be like, what are you doing? Just like that. I don't get it, man. Well, that's cool that I can actually skip ahead, which is nice. I'll do that then. That's right, Mexico City. One way ticket, please. Next available seat. That would be one day from now. Is that okay? It's going to have to be. LAPD, the man who just came in here, he bought a ticket? Yes, sir, to Mexico City, tomorrow night. If you hear from him again, don't mention this conversation. What have you got? He bought a ticket from Mexico City. Tomorrow night. That's good. But this is better. Oh my god. It's Fabergé. Fabergé? Should have seen the look on the pawnbroker's face when I told him to hand it over. The guy who owned the joint thought it was worth at least 10 large. For a cigarette case. Arnett only got 600 clams. What's it even say? I don't, I can't even read it. Can't tell what it says, but that's cool. So now what? Car 11K, 11 King, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 11K, go to Hollywood Station. Homicide detectives Bukowski and Galloway have information relating to the Randall case. Roger, KGPL. 11K, on route. Car 11K, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King, go ahead. RNI reports the last arresting officer for DOA, Jimmy LeBlanc, was patrolman Fred Wallace, who's working a shift on Hollywood 9th Beat, Sunset Boulevard, between Gordon and Wilcox. Car 11K, on route. A one-way ticket to Mexico. Old Henry's looking as guilty as a dog next to a pile of dog. All right, I'll be right back. Oh, already we What's are back motive? with the action. I can think of a few. 
but I'd put my money south of the belt. One guy plus two dames always equals problems. Uh, where are we going? I guess we're going to the ninth of beat then. Maybe if I won't stop wrecking cars and shit. That'd be great, right? This is why I let my partner drive. <clears throat> it looks like this, uh... Guy is supposedly up here, maybe. Who in the world is he chasing? Right, my hand. right behind you, Wallace. Detective <laughs> Phelps. Wallace, go left. I'm going right after this little prick in the alley. Was I supposed to go with Wallace? Gotcha. You're pretty brave for a dead man. Yep, shot him right in the face. Yeesh. So why did this have to happen? Thanks. Outstanding warrant, armed robbery. Knocked oh, over really? a drug store back there, and it looks like he brought his whole posse with him. Bad luck for them. They're all yours now. We need some information. Ever heard of a burglar goes by the name of Jimmy LeBlanc? Sure. And that <coughs> Jimmy had a burglary beef a couple of years back. They cut through couple a music years shop back. and into a jewelry store. He got four years. I miss his partner, though. His partner? Big guy. I had him cornered, and he picked up this huge display case and threw it out a plate glass window. Then he vaulted out of there like something out of Barnum and Bailey. Got away. I would have had him, except for LeBlanc yelling, run for it, Willie. And you think he was an acrobat of some sort? More like a strong man, a wrestler, or a boxer, that kind of thing. Thanks. Oh, really? You haven't done too badly yourself. Interesting. Willie. You know the way. You can drive. So now what? All right. Where to? Do we go back to the police station? You drive. I need to go over the case notes. You're suggesting LeBlanc is still working with Willie? A strong man held down Randall while someone administered the morphine. Someone with muscle over the LeBlanc skull. Could be. It is true. So what? Do we go back to the police station and figure out what goes on? We caught up with Mal. He's given us the dope on LeBlanc. He worked burglaries with a big guy. Goes by the name of Willie. He might be our killer. Can you work boxing gyms, the Y, promoters, that kind of stuff? Since when have you started giving orders, Phelps? Oh, God. Where's the burglary angle? There was no sign of them. That's where our net comes in. Next stop, we speak to Lacey about a list of recent burglaries. The guy's a bum. His office is a front, and he's behind on the rent and his phone bill. And he's skipping town. Tomorrow. Let's get him in and beat it out of him. Do you want to bring in the killer, Rusty? You could be too smart for your own good, Phelps. We've been talking about that, haven't we? Ah, Phelps. Stefan? Finbar? 
Uh, I need the contraband list. Items stolen over the last year. Hang on, I'll dig out a copy for you. Hang on, I'll dig out a copy for you. Here you go. Thanks. Is the cigarette case on there? No. I don't know. Let's find out. Earrings, a brooch, gold metal chain, a cigarette case. It's here. Arnett must be out of his mind trying to move this while under a murder cloud. Wireless radio. Is there something else on here? Yeah, there's something else on here. Julia Randall's ring. It's here. Oh, yeah. Watch. I'm gonna go back to it, and it's just, it's still gonna do it. So now what? Baldwin? I don't know. Beverly? Is there like a Beverly somewhere else, maybe? There's a Baldwin? Jacob Clearing? Pearl ring. Even the engagement ring was pearl like. Our net is a cad. Okay. Bond certificates. Seems Julia wasn't the first board society girl to hide her bennies in that pillbox. Interesting. All right, parking lot. Where's the parking lot at? We have an investigation. Did your parents ever ask you to run away from? Home? You can drive. We Fine. must go we to the Eve Eve Strom residence. So you and Rusty have been having discussions. Anything you would like to tell me, partner? Phelps, don't be so touchy. Rusty had his best ever clearance rate working with you. Even if the cases he worked on can't be discussed. We were just comparing notes. You're a Boonaroo case man, Phelps. One of the best I've ever seen. Thanks. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. You gotta learn to it. take a compliment, Phelps. Nice house. LAPD, ma'am. Is Mrs. Evestrom in? She is. Evestrom. Follow me, sir. I am Mrs. Evestrom. How may I help you? We appear to have recovered some stolen goods that belong to you, ma'am. Yes, of course. That terrible burglary. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you, ma'am. We have some questions, if you don't mind. Why would I mind, young man, if you are returning 43 pieces of my property? Okay, 43. before we get down to that, I'll have a scotch. Thanks, straight up. Maria, can you get the detective a drink, please? 43 pieces? Holy chumpin'. Uh, what? Uh, okay. Uh, list of stolen Can items. You describe to us what was stolen. It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen, Detective. <laughs> a priceless tiara that has been in the family for 50 years. A Fabergé cigarette case that was worth $25,000. Uh, uh, lie? Why are you lying about 
the value of your jewelry, Mrs. Eavestrom. Who do you think you are? Making heinous accusations in my own home. Uh... Is it the case? It's worth 10,000, right? We recovered the cigarette case from a pawnbroker. No one knows the real value of an item better than those guys. I inflated its value for the insurance claim. There, are you satisfied? My daughter's boyfriend was quite taken with the case. I think he was even more disappointed than I was when it was stolen. I, I, I honestly don't know how I got that right. What can you tell us about the burglary? A terrible night. At least a year ago. But let's not go into that. Let's talk about what you've recovered. How? Am I, like, uh, truth? Okay. The burglary took place? Good heavens, no. I was at a social function held by a Dr. Harold Stoneman and his lovely wife. I returned home and all of my things were missing. That's about it for now, Mrs. Eastrom. The department will get in touch and let you know how you can recover your valuables. You have only mentioned a few of the items that have been stolen, Detective. What else has been recovered? You see, Phelps, that's why you get the drinks in early. Hello, Mother. Hello, Detectives. What is going on? We'd like to ask exactly the same question. You have met my daughter this morning at work. Oh, oh, mother and father divorced. I took my father's name. The detectives recovered some of the things that were stolen, darling. Well, what did you find? A sapphire ring on the corpse of Julia Randall. What are you talking about? Your engagement ring, Miss Swanson. Would you be surprised to know that it was part of the proceeds of a burglary? That's an outrageous allegation. Yes, it is. I suggest we go straight to Henry Arnett's place and sort this mess out. Huh? Okay, I mean, if we're doing it, we're doing it. Let's just, uh... Almost hit a cop car. We're missing something here. Arnett is obviously arranging the burglars. That's my fiancé you're making scurrilous accusations about. Shut the hell up. And Randall was obviously his partner. But neither of them are the type to creep apartments. You're being ridiculous. Both of you. There's there's a very good explanation for all of this. What a sock in it, sister. You're being played for a patsy and you're not even smart enough to see it. I know, right? Shut up. turn up at I would say I'm gonna turn right here and then maybe here I don't know we'll see Then here's my question, do we turn? Yeah, it's so weird driving to like the place I'm driving, which kind of sucks. But you know, it is what it is. Look where you're going. Yeah, that's gonna be a few dollars out of my pocket right there.
Oh my god. How long do we have to drive for? This is quite ridiculous. It, it, it looks like that we turn right. And then his apartment's right here. Okay, good. Thank God, because I really didn't want to do that. I hated driving, and here I am. Joe arriving. That's that cop. Come on, sister. Looks like a decent guy. Let's find out who your fiance really is. Yeah, let's find out. Yeah, yeah, let's find out. All right, where's he at? Welcome, sir. Uh, I'm sorry. Are you a resident? LAPD detectives. We're here to speak to Henry Arnett. Oh, uh, Mr. Arnett, um, uh, apartment 30. You can take the lift. Thank, Thank you. you. Much appreciated. How come you couldn't say that the first time? We go well, zoomies. Isn't this just nice and awkward? I know, right? The most awkward thing I've ever seen. And been through. What the hell's going on in here? This guy's our case. Go on, Put get your hands up. in the air. Give Dude, you're so LAPD. slow. Looks like he got you good, Phelps. Yeah, he really packs a wallop. How did I get back here? Under your own steam, miraculously. You came in through the window, said hello, and then keeled over. How was our net? He's coming around, too. He's all hopped up. Good time to Is get some now? answers. You missing something, Henry? Oh, my God. You told Heather you're honeymooning without her? Yeah, really. What's going on with that, bro? Asheron Constantine. That's an extremely expensive watch, Henry. A graduation present for my parents. Graduation present from what? Why do we have to go investigate this guy's apartment? I'm like ready to end the video. No good to me. Obviously. Something in the back bedroom I know about? Probably not, but. Junk. Yeah, junk. What? What is that? I doubt it. Yeah. I doubt it. I doubt it. I would too. Okay, looks like we can talk to you now, Mr. Arnett. 
There's really nothing that's making us go nuts here. Okay. Hello, Arnett. Again. Professional burglary ring. We know all ring. about the jewelry ring. You and Randall and LeBlanc and Willie doing the legwork. I'm in the fashion business. No, you're not. You're lying, Henry. How can you prove that I'm involved, detective? Uh, the case? The cigarette case? Because you pawned a Fabergé cigarette case today for $600. A case that is on a list of stolen items. It was Julia's idea. What? Get a list of society parties, and find out where and when, and then have the guests burgle. Julia was desperate for money. No matter how much we made, she always wanted more. Oh, so she's one of those types of girls. Why did Reed and LeBlanc kill Julia Randall? I, I wanted to stop, to, to get out of that life. I was going to marry Heather if she'd have me. Julia told the others that, that they were out, that she was going to create a, a new gang. How am I going to believe that one You're bit? Lying, Arnett. I think you ordered them to kill her. It was made to look like suicide, and when the coroner saw through that, you knew it was time to run. I told you I was involved in the burglaries. I had nothing to do with Julia's death. Why would I need to run? What about the uh, train ticket there, buddy? Oh, yeah, look at that. Train ticket. Have you told Miss Swanson that you're leaving for Mexico City tomorrow night? That it's a one-way ticket? Henry? Tell me it isn't true. I had no choice. I wanted to marry Heather. Ooh. I told Julia I wanted out, and she laughed in my face. Ooh. I had to pay Willie and Jimmy a fortune to do her, and now I'm completely broke. What you are, Buster, is under arrest. Yeah, for sure. Identity of Mr. Henderson. Who is Henderson? And Mr. What is Ander Henderson. Tell them what you know, Henry. I'll stand by you if you'll only tell the truth. No, you won't. There is no Henderson. You lying son of a bitch. Tell me about your first burglary. And don't lie. I can't remember. I don't keep a list of these things. Yes, you do. It's a contraband list, for God's sake. Right? Yeah. Con your first burglary was a Dr. Harold We're Stoneman. Done. You want We're to done here, boys. You how he is involved or shall I? Henderson is Stoneman. He was crazy about Julia. She could get him to do whatever she wished. Really? He threw parties and we arranged the burglaries. Mm. Julia never let him touch her. She just kept him hanging on the promise. Drove the good doctor. Are you so same. sure about that? Henry Arnett, you are under arrest for burglary and for the murder of Julia Randall. Henderson is Stoneman, all right? I'm not the guy you want. Go talk to the good doctor. Oh, we will, knucklehead. Meanwhile, we're fitting you for convict stripes. <laughs> well, that was easy. Oops. And it dropped all the way to the ground. That's cool. Well. Do we seriously have... No. That does it for this episode. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys all next Wednesday for more Eleanor Part 3 now. Goodbye.